Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan and what I'd like to do today is show y'all how to use my food truck business plan template. So the purpose of this video is to kind of walk you all through how to use the Word document that I've provided in my uh, food truck business plan template. On the, on the template, you're going to be able to make changes and also there is a structure that you can follow and hopefully within 30 minutes of using my um, template that you're going to be provided, you can have a fully functional um, business plan template for a food truck. And also I do provide y'all with a uh, Excel template with a basic financial model. And I've also included the numbers as well. So what you can do is open up the financial model and you can go ahead and start making some changes to the, the food truck menu prices or how many customers you anticipate uh, servicing or what your startup costs are going to be. You, you change some of the numbers and the financial model will update you with a 12 month financial projection. Also, it'll update you with a uh, five year annual projection as well. So that's what's included in my food truck, a business plan template. However, you do need to be able to use that template in order for it to be functional. Thus, this tutorial video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in on how to use my food truck business plan a template. All right. So again, the purpose of the video is for y'all to take my template and have a usable document within 30 minutes, including your financials based on feedback from previous customers and also based on my research, this template is good for business plan um, for landlords, small business loans, and also to share with friends and family. And finally, it's an excellent base for you to use to add your personalized information to expand the business plan into a more in-depth, customized document for you to use in, in other um, situations as well. So included in the template that you would purchase off my site, and I'll show you exactly where you can purchase the template and how to download it and use the template. But what you're going to get is you're going to get a customizable Word document that you're going to be able to make changes to. You're going to get a basic financial model in Excel that you will be able to customize. And when you customize that information, the 12 month financial projections, as well as the five year projections will um, update as well. And finally, you get this wonderful handy dandy little how to use the um, how to use the template video when you purchase it. Keep in mind, there's no phone support. What you get is the, the downloadable document and this how to video on how to use it. All right. So a little bit about me before we go ahead and dive into how to use my template. I am a professional business writer. I am a professional writer and a professional business plan writer. So if you get the template and you find that the difficulties of writing your own business plan, even with the template surmounts your skills, not a problem. Don't fret. Give me a call and I would be delighted to write you up a professional business plan for your food truck. Next, I again, I am a published author on Amazon and other sites. So if you want to go ahead and use this template in conjunction with some business plan books, uh, check me out on Amazon and there are some um, good books out there that can give you some insights on the different segments of business plan writing, as well as, uh, you know, how, how to supplement the template that you can purchase off my site. And finally, educational background about me. I am a adjunct professor and subject matter expert in both business and finance. So finance is my gig. If y'all want some more in-depth financials, I would be absolutely delighted, ecstatic, and so forth to assist in that segment of your business plan. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and talk about this template that I'm, uh, I'm preaching about. So when you purchase a template off my site, and again, I'll show you how to do that in just a few minutes, you're going to get like, a, again, like I said, a Word document and also an Excel file. In the Word document, once you open it up, it's going to look like this right here. It's going to say a food truck business plan. You can change this right here. You can put your food truck logo. You can put the name of your food truck. You can do whatever you like with the title page, um, but it, it's, it's there for your usage. Next, when you add information to the business plan or subtract information from the business plan, once you're done with that and you've customized it to your needs, the final step that you're going to do is you're going to come to this table of contents. You're going to click on it. You're going to go to update table. You're going to click on 
update and tire table and you're going to click on OK and what this is going to do is going to update all the pages for you. So you're going to have an updated table of contents. Next part is going to be the executive summary. Make sure to read through it. Put your company name here. Uh, limited liability company if it's going to be limited liability. Put a corporation if it's going to be co put corporation. Put sole proprietor if it's going to be sole proprietor. Partnership and so on. Located city and state food trucks. Fortunately, wonderfully, food trucks have the opportunity to set up shop pretty much wherever they like, whether it's going to be in a food truck caravan, if it's going to be in a festival, or if you're going to be catering an event. So you don't want to put all the potential places you're going to be. You want to put a centralized location. Some people may put the kitchen commissary that they use. Other people might put the home office or even just a city and state where you're going to be operating. So just give the reader some kind of an idea of where your food trucks is gonna be operating or your home office is. Next is your name. And then finally, in this section right here, our food truck will serve popular menu items and change out the menu one, item two, and item three with various items that you're gonna be serving. If your company is gonna be a pizza food truck, then pizza and you know maybe some different kinds of pizza, some beverages, and so on. But you see where I'm going with that. So make the changes as you see necessary. The target market that I put down here is going to be, you're going to be um, targeting visitors at food truck um, caravans, and also you're going to be targeting corporations or other entities looking for catering services. If this is applicable to your business, fantastic. If not, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and update that information as again as you see fit. Next step is going to be the financial highlights. I've taken this information from the financial projections that I've included in the business plan template. If you go ahead and change some of the numbers in the financial model, please make sure to update this section with the revenues generated for the first year, costs expected, and then after tax net profits as well. Funding requests is how much money you're looking for or how much money you're going to invest for your food truck. It typically, based on my research, it could be as low as fifty to sixty thousand dollars. It can be high as half a million dollars or more. Just depends on the scope of operations and what you are comfortable with or what you can afford. I went ahead with a startup cost of one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Feel free to again change this as you see fit. Operating term, I, you can go 15 to 25 years. You can change this again to whatever your term of the loans is going to be and also the interest rate. Company description. Now we're going from the executive summary into the company description. So here's where we're going to provide more details about your food truck. Same situation here with the summary. It's identical to the segment right here in your executive summary. So just fill this out as, um, as you see fit. Competitive advantages, read through it. If you want some information, more changes in there, feel free to do it. And then items, um, menu items. This is where you're just going to go ahead and list out your menu items, which you're going to be serving. Target market, we already talked about that. Pricing strategy, this is a good strategy. I'd leave it. If you, if you want to make some changes to it, feel free. Hours of operation, these usually fluctuate with food trucks um, based on food caravan opportunities and catering services. But again, if you're going to have a set time and location, feel free to document it there. Location, instead of, for the most part, when I do locations for business plans, it's going to be the home office or if it's going to be a retail shop or a restaurant, it's going to be the physical address. In this particular situation for food trucks, you really can't do that. So what I've done is I went ahead and just pretty much described a general food truck, 16 foot by seven foot, and you're gonna have 100 square feet. Now, of course, if you multiply 16 by seven, it's gonna give you a, a square footage of like 112 or something like that, um, but you're not for, obviously not gonna be operating on the engine and in the driver's seat. Thus, it's gonna be a reduced square footage. And then I've broken it into percentages of how the area will be, um, how the area will be divided. Again, feel free to make some of these changes. Business objectives and timeline. This is a great opportunity for y'all to go ahead and plan out some future uh, strategic moves. Where do you want to be in six to 12 months? Once you identify six to 12 months, then where do you need to be in three to six months in order to get to the six to 12 months? And then finally, what do you have to accomplish in the first one to three months in order to obtain your objectives for the three to six months, which should inevitably lead you to the objectives of the six to 12 months objectives. 
So hopefully that made sense. Um, pretty much in um, simpler terms, you wanna go ahead and identify where you wanna be for your business in 12 months and then make sure the subsequent months are aligned to help you achieve those objectives. All right, next is gonna be industry analysis. I went ahead and I've researched three different uh, sites based on food truck industry information. And I've went ahead and summarized the information here in paragraph one, two, and three. I've got where I obtained the information, IBS World, a Small Biz Genius, and then the Census Bureau. So I've got the information documented, I've got it summarized. It's a real nice, solid industry analysis. Again, I'd leave this as is, but feel free to supplement the information if you feel necessary. SWOT analysis, this is a nice little um, succinct document showing your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Strength management experience, it, uh, and this should be, I mean, it should be applicable. If not, then make sure you change it. The way to change information is you're gonna click on this uh, nice little document here. You're gonna go to this arrow here, and then right here is going to open up and you're going to be able to make the changes to the strength, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and scroll down a little bit, and voila, you've now got the threats. <clears throat> so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, again, uh, generic information, uh, documented plans. Well, this business plan is a documented plan, innovative food truck concept. You know, how are you going to differentiate? And that's going to be your innovations right there. Weaknesses, it is a startup. Um, for the most part, if this is a new or you're trying to expand, then instead of startup, expansion food truck opportunity. So that could be perceived or um, per, it can be conceived as a weakness because you know anytime you do expansion, it is risk involved. Risk can be conceived as weakness and so on. Threats are gonna be local competitors, um, food truck competitors. You literally, if you're doing a food truck caravan, you've got a competitor on both sides in front and behind you sometimes within a 10 foot walking distance. You do have some extreme competition in some cases. Organizational structure, the legal structure I start off with, our food truck will be, again, is it a limited liability? Is it a corporation? Is it a partnership? Or is it a sole proprietor? Up to you, whatever you select, document it there. And these are some general job descriptions, CEO, cook, cashier. And if there are some fluctuations, just make sure to go ahead and change out the name and change out the duties and you are ready to roll. To make this a little bit more visual appealing of the organizational structure, I've included an organizational chart, CEO, cook, and cashier make the changes again you click on the little um, pretty little smart document you go ahead and go over here to the arrow and voila it opens up you can make the ceo change you can make the cook change you can make the cashier change whatever changes um go ahead and make them and then you are hunky dory and then we are into the marketing section of the food truck business plan template. In this segment, I break it into traditional marketing, internet marketing, and social media marketing. Give you all some good solid um, foundations for what you might do for traditional marketing, like signage on the sides of your truck, internet marketing like your website, and social media marketing like your Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Have added, um, if you want to add, subtract, multiply, divide, the document is prepared for you to use. Funding request is short, it's sweet, it's simple, and it's straightforward. How much money you're going to be looking to borrow, rather, whether it be debt or equity, how long you anticipate the debt term to be, the interest rate anticipated, and then if you are taking on an investor or a, um, if you're taking on an investor or a partner, then they will be compensated through, uh, I've got semi-annual dividend payments. You can change this right here to whatever you like, um, but just read through it and make the change as you see fit. And finally, the wonders of financial projections. So these numbers right here, again, are just based on a typical, uh, fine, uh, bi fi based on a typical food truck company that I have envisioned for operations. These numbers can and will change for you. If you want to keep these numbers, have at it. It's completely up to you. These are, again, are just my thoughts and ideas. You have a 12 month projection right here, profit and loss year one, month one through three, quarter one, month four through six, quarter two, month seven through nine, quarter three, 
month 10 through 12, quarter four, and then you have year one through five pro forma financial projections for the income statement. And if you do want to change these numbers, th these numbers would have to be changed in the Excel file that I have included with the business plan template. Now, if you change any numbers in the business plan template, you will need to go ahead and delete these graphs right here and then undo that. You're going to need to delete the graph here, the chart, and you're going to need to copy and paste a new one from the Excel file. So once you're done with this, if you want to make the changes to the um, the numbers, you will open up the Excel template. When you open up the Excel template, you're going to see something like this. You are going to want to go to the information page. Any information that you will change in these dark colored cells, and these are the only cells that you can change, change any other cells, and guess what? You, you may break the financial model, and you're going to be starting all over again. All right. So if you make any changes in these dark colored cells, they are going to change these, um, this information here. Here's your pro forma income statement, quarter one, two, three, and four. So if you make any changes, you'll have to copy paste this information here and put it into the Word document. Any changes on the information page will also roll over to your income statement and your revenues will change, your costs will change, your labor will change, and your net profits will change. So any information change here will also roll over and change here as well. All right, so the way that this is set up for the financial projections is that I've got to set up on per customer ticket item price. So if you're selling pizzas and your average customer price is $15, which includes a slice of pizza, a side item, and a soda, then you would put the price here. The number of customers you anticipate would go right here. So every day, if you anticipate selling approximately 80 different customers or servicing 80 customers, then you put that number there. If it's higher, change it to higher. If it's lower, change it lower. Up to you. Percent of sales right here is 40%. This is your cost of goods. I do include a small premium for gas to and from locations. And then your food costs typically between 30, 35% based on feedback from other clients and my personal research. But do your own research. And if you feel that the cost of goods should be higher or lower, have at it, make the change and the financial projections will change accordingly. All right, employees, this right here is your salary, and you can change that if you want to pay yourself $1,500, and you can change that higher or lower, completely up to you. If you're going to have employees, you can put the number of employees here, the rate of pay here. This 172 represents a, a full-time employee of 40 hours for the month. If you want to change your employee to $13 an hour, have at it. If you want to give them $16, have at it. And a little personal note, usually if you are paying your employees a little bit more than everybody else, it's a competitive advantage. It's a great way to differentiate and get loyal employees. I am a huge proponent of paying employees more, eating the, eating the lower profits and exploiting the competitive advantage opportunities. Just my personal opinion, though. Again, have at it if you want employees. If you have no employees, put a zero and the employee price is gone and it's also reflected here no labor so all this information changes if you're going to keep your two employees go to your income statement and voila the, the employee labor is there as well cost um startup costs are going to be right here have at it if you want to go ahead and change your equity investment if you want to change your loan investment you can do that too if you want to just um, get a fifty thousand dollar loan you change it there once you change it there, it automatically updates here. And then for the loan information, you can put your interest rate here and the term here as well. So if you want to take out a loan of $50,000 at 5% interest for 10 years, your payment will be approximately $530. And the interest expense will be identified right here and in the interest expense on a monthly basis. Equity investment, if you want to change the equity investment to $50,000, that wasn't the way to do it. You would click right here, equity investment, $50,000, and boom, you do it right there. Your initial build out and purchase would go here, working capital right here. And then in this section right here, you'd have your equipment, you'll have your training, menu design, and some websites. You'll have some blank spaces to add in your own information, inventory, supplies, advertising. So these are all your startup costs right here. 
The next is going to be your monthly fixed costs. Your, your rent could reflect your kitchen commissary if you have one. Utilities could, again, inf reflect the propane that you're going to use or um, gasoline to generate the electrical at your facility, what have you. Uh, the, we've got office expenses, insurance, county legal, advertising, other, and then the total monthly balance right here. Change any prices right here. And this information right here updates, your graph updates here, and your income statement and your profit and loss update as well. Everything is intertwined. Tax rate, if you think you're going to be paying more money for taxes, you can go ahead and change it here to 25%, or you can change it to 15%. I keep it at 20%. Once you are done making the changes only to the dark colored sections, then what you would have to go do is go over here and make copies of the profit and loss for quarter one through four, and copy and paste and put that into the template. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. It's a little bit quick, a little bit um, sweet. But if you do want to go ahead and buy my um, food truck template, business plan template, you would just simply go over here to qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash business plan templates. Scroll down to where it says food truck business plan templates. And then you would click here. Obviously, this video will be the video we're doing right now, and it will be updated accordingly. You click on that button there, and it's going to take you to my payment page, qualitybusinessconsultant.com forward slash product forward slash download food truck business plan template and once you get here you'll just go ahead and buy the template and when you buy the template you are then going to be given this right here <clears throat> so you go to that template page you'll go to that page and you are going to be emailed this document right here. And it's going to say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for buying my food truck business plan template. And you will be able to download the template right here. It will be in a zip file. So you click right here, you'll download it. And you will see something like this right here where it says um, um, food truck business plan template. You see the little zipper right there. It means it's zip. You double click on that or you unzip it and the zipper will be gone. You double click on that folder again, and you are at the jackpot where you'll have the final um, food truck business plan template Word document and the final template for the food truck Excel file as well. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful in understanding how to use my food truck template. And as always, if you do need some additional services for your business plan writing, you want to take it to the next level, have a professional do it, uh, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. My information is right here. I would be absolutely delighted to assist in taking to the next level. As always, have a fantastic day. If you like the video, give me two thumbs up on YouTube. And thank you, thank you, and thank you.